Dan. Um, I want to thank Hofstra. Again, there's so much new protocol for teams to come and play. Um, I want to thank them for all their work. I want to wish Coach Mahalik, who's one of the great coaches in college basketball, a speedy recovery. And Mike does a really good job. I was very nervous about this game because of, you know, um, their culture of winning. They got good players. Um, I love their guards. Um, and I knew they would give us a real test here. And so I want to thank, again, good shout out. That's a good basketball team picked to win their league, and they're going to have a great year. Uh, also, before I get started, I want to say congrats to Coach Ciano. An awesome. I was watching every score. It was awesome beating Purdue on the road. It's been a great weekend for Rutgers. Um, Coach Stringer wins, too, in another game. I think she's got like 2,500 and so many wins. Um, she seems to win every game she coaches. Does an unbelievable job. Um, and always thankful for our athletic director. Great, great, great week for Rutgers Athletics. Thanks, Coach. We'll let Jerry start off with the first question. Steve, what did you think of your team's defense today? You, you know, Jerry, I'm a, I think we could be a lot better, that's for sure. I do like that number, though, 56. They, they score a lot. They shoot a ton of threes. One of the better three-point shooting teams, um, programs in the country. Um, so I did like that number. I do think we had a little uh, three games in five days. I think you saw a little bit of that fatigue. Um, but, uh, you know, our numbers were good. It's the first game that we've kept a team under 40 and under 30 from three. So that's always one of the things we want to do every night. Um, I thought we could rebound a lot better than we did tonight, too. But um, defensively, we did the things we needed to do. And we took away some of the things that they do a really good job of, of, of making threes. We did a good job of, of guarding the three-point line. We'll go to Bobby Dowen with the next question. Coach, so much different to this season, you know, without fans, Geo being down, being ranked coming into the season. What have you learned about this team through the first three games? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. You know, just playing in this environment has been really new. And, um, you know, not having Geo, obviously, and, and, and Caleb McConnell, too, is a high energy guy. So obviously, miss any time a guy or two guys are out, you, you certainly miss them. Um, you got to bring your own energy every night. It's just, you know, it's just different. You know, everything's different and you don't get that energy from the building. Obviously, it's been a great home court advantage. But I think we learned some things. We got a lot of film now to go over with our guys. I, I really like my young guys, too. Um, you know, so we're learning the rotations with them. Um, you know, I knew that would be take a little bit of a time and, and be a little bit of a process for us. But now with Geo, it really kind of speeds speeds it up a little bit more with our rotation. So still got some things to figure out, but got some good film and and everyone chipped in and did some good things for us today. Every guy that got into the game, you know, really helped us. So um, that's a good sign moving forward. We obviously, you know, stepping it up. Um, we need a couple of days off here, which we're going to get and then and, and, uh, start preparing for the road ahead of We can take Brian Fonseca with the next question. Uh, Steve, offensively, there were a couple of stretches where you guys struggled, missed some layups, had some turnovers. Do you attribute that to Hofstra's zone? Was that some dead legs after three games in five days? What do you attribute that to? Yeah, you know, I don't know. Missed layups, you know, we, we had great opportunities at the rim. Um, you know, uh, just I thought we missed a lot of open looks, you know. Could be that, could be some fatigue. Maybe I'm playing these guys too many minutes. Um you know, we didn't have the pop that we had the last few, you know, the last few days and, and something, too, for me to learn about my team. Um, you, know, you know, so I, I thought we defended the way we're supposed to. Defense always tells us if we're going to win, you know, offense, 70, 80, 90, whatever we get tells you by how many. And, um, you know, offensively today, I didn't I, I didn't like our energy. I didn't love our defense either. So um, it's a good thing. I'll, I'll be crabby for the next few days and, and it'll be good for our guys in practice. We can go to Richie Schneider right with the next question. Coach, I'm unsure on the exact number. I think it's around 76 fast break points in three games. Can you just talk about that a little bit and how you guys have done so well in transition? Well, I mean, it all starts with rebounding. And we've, we've had a couple halves where we've really rebounded the ball. The ones that we didn't, we weren't able to get out and, and fast break the way we would like. I mean, we're athletic. Cliff gives us another real good athlete, Mawat. You know, that freshman class, too. J Jacob's the you know, fastest guard, one of the fastest in the country. Uh, and I think Paul does a really good job of looking up the floor, too. So, um, you know, we've spent a lot of time on it. We emphasize it. And, uh, 
you know, it's paid it's paid dividends for us, you know, to date. But uh, we got to get better. We got to get better at that too. We'll go to Jaden Daly with the next question. Steve, two part question for you, if you if you can. First, to win a grind like this after putting up eighty six and ninety six the first two days, what does it say about the versatility of this team? And also, Paul with nine rebounds and seven assists. What can you say about? his floor game and the leap that he's taken freshman to sophomore in terms of just facilitating and making plays on both sides. Yeah. I love the fact the last game too, he rebounded, you know, that helps us so much. And he can start the fast break too. It helps us, you know, get guys flying up the court. Uh, but we had, we were tested in all these games at certain points. I think we learned a lot, you know, today we saw, you know, a zone, a matchup zone for, you know, for 40 minutes. Um, you know, we didn't have any tapes of these guys. They didn't play this year. So, you know, I don't like prep with not having any game film of, of the current team. So we didn't know their starting lineup. We didn't know any of that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, I don't like going into games like that. So that was another obstacle we had to face. So we've been in foul trouble. We played through that. Today we had to play through some fatigue. Uh, we shot the ball well in a couple games. We didn't shoot it well in other games. Uh, we rebounded well in some. We didn't rebound well in others. So I think we learned a lot, you know, about our team and 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 the work that we need to do, you know, moving forward and getting better. But I like to grind out wins. It's a good sign, you know, even when everything isn't going your way, we're missing layups. A couple of those layups could have put us up, you know, 20, 24, 25 points. But, you, you know, you got to finish off plays and we got to go harder to the rim. And then obviously, you know, we want to be able to make some, you know, free throws. We did some of that down the stretch today. That, that that kind of helped us. We can go back to Joey Carino and then Bobby after him. Steve, two, this is two related questions. One is, given all the cancellations around the country so far this, this first week of the season, what kind of an achievement is it that your team got three games in? I will tell you, a huge achievement and – you know, a tip of the hat, the protocol. It's not just our team. The other team has to go through and every single guy has got to, you know, test the right way. One person knocks you out. Um, a credit to our doctors. They've done an unbelievable job, you know, um, and, 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 and they've really kept us safe. Um, our testing, I think, is, is the best, you know, the best in the country. And the fact that our guys are being real conscious of everything that they do. After every game, that's after I congratulate them. That's the first thing I talk about, um, you know, with our team. Continue to remind them, but it's great to get off, you know, three games in, in, in a short period of time because a lot of teams haven't played any games yet. And you mentioned that uh, you're going to take a few days here, maybe take a day off, and then do some practice time. Your next game isn't until the eighth. What are the chances that you try to schedule a game between now and Syracuse? Yeah, I'm probably pretty good if 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 we can figure it out and, and do it the right time. And uh, honestly, everything's about safety. Everything's about how much testing and, you know, who's traveling, who's not traveling, you know, that kind of thing. So our guys have been safe. We've been, you know, doing a really good job keeping them that way. And so all the decisions will be made on, you know, based on that. Thanks. Thank you. Coach, with uh, three games now under his belt, how would you say Cliff has fared, and, and what did you like out of him uh, through these first three games? I really, I really like Cliff. Cliff was, you know, good energy today. Screen coverage is getting better. Um, you know, I like, you know, I like his energy. He got a couple steals today. Um, he's learning. He's learning. He's uh, he's a great kid. He's coachable. He comes to work every day and practices. I mean, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit for him. But he learned a lot in, in, in three games. We saw a lot of different teams with different styles. He, you know, he had to figure some stuff out. And, and uh, I look forward to his continued growth. We've got time for two more questions. So we'll go to Matt Sugam next and then Brian Fonseca for the last one. Matt, if you could unmute. Yeah. Uh, Steve, what's it been like these last three games, uh, coaching with a mask on? It's really, it's very, it, everything's different. Everything's different. The rhythm of the games are different. The mask being on is different. Referees don't come around as much anymore. It's different. Um, guys can't hear you, um, with the mask on. So it's, um, uh, it's been trying, but we're getting through it and, uh, you know, we got to kind of figure it out. It's our new normal right now. And um, 
you know, we'll change some things too, you know, as we move after living three games like this, we'll change a few things that, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to do, um, how I communicate with my guys too. So, uh, we'll make some adjustments and, and everything. And I think for our guys too, huge learning experience, just going through it. They haven't, you know, had a start and lineup. Nobody, nobody's in the facility, you know, so they, they've gone through a lot too. So they're kind of figuring it out and they got to bring their own energy. And they're realizing that really quickly that, you know, the team that's the most energized and the team that's ready to communicate and do those things, probably team going to have a good chance of winning. Brian Fonseca with the last question. Sure. I'll throw in two. If that's sorry, Jordan. Uh, first one is miles five blocks today, nine over the last two games. Just what can you say about how he's been playing and kind of adapting this role coming off the bench? You got, you got a little miles too. Yeah. Well, he was like Chris Paul today, bringing the ball up to court and uh, you know, miles is a great teammate. I mean, he's a much improved player too. He can put the ball on the deck. Now, uh, we needed to get him the ball, a few more touches around the around the basket. Um, very valuable, very valuable guy and improving too. And you saw some stuff in all three games that he didn't do last year. So look forward to his continued, you know, improvement. And and he's a great, I mean, he's a great teammate. And the guys love him. He's very unselfish. Almost like today, he caught the ball in the post. Just score. Just score miles. He kicks it out. Um, but I'd rather have guys like that than than any, any other way. So very thankful for Miles and, and excited about how he keeps on developing his game. And just to follow up on what Jerry asked, uh, you said you'd make decisions off safety. Best case scenario, would you like to play a game this week? Yeah, I mean, I just like to enjoy this win here and have a day off tomorrow. And then uh, we're getting calls all the time, so we'll we'll, we'll figure that out. You know. Um, as he moves forward here.